Have a nice day, student. Today we discuss about the natural resources. Natural resources. It means the resources which are very essential or necessary for the survival of living being or life on the land. We call them natural resources. So natural resources are the resources or the substance which form the life supportive system on the land. We call them. natural resources so today we discuss about the natural resources so what are the natural resources basically they are the life supportive system on the land life supportive supportive system on the land are called natural resources so the natural resources are divided into two groups first we call them inexhaustible natural resources and second one we call them exhaustible natural resources so first of all we discuss about the inexhaustible natural resources the resources which cannot be consumed or we cannot destroy during the use we call them inexhaustible natural resources like air water radiations solar radiations for radiations these are the solar energy these are the inexhaustible natural resources exhaustible natural resources further divided into groups or two categories first we call them non renewable resources non renewable and second one we call them renewable resources renewable resources non renewable resources it means they cannot consume they cannot renew in the natural these are the exhaustible resources means they become consumed during the processing during the use so ye jo process ye jo natural resources are non renewable they can you know they can replenish they cannot replace or they cannot they cannot recycle so such type of resources are called the non renewable resources for example fossil fuel fossil fuel and second one we call them renewable resources renewable resources it means the resources which can recycle or obtain again we call them renewable resources for example when soil they can recycle can be recycled recycled in nature are called renewable resources example soil forest wildlife these are the some resources which can be recycled in the nature first of all we discuss about the inexhaustible resources air exhaustible so first of all we discuss about the air 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 present around the earth this is the earth or uh, it having a it having the air around it so this region is having the air around it so this region is known as the atmosphere around the earth which having the air around it so this whole region is contain the air we call the atmosphere the layer which is surrounded the earth we call it the atmosphere so this is known as the atmosphere atmosphere is the region where the air molecules are atmosphere or its composition is it contain it contain 78% nitrogen now it contain approximately 21% oxygen or 20% oxygen 0.3 to 0.4% carbon dioxide 0.03 to 0.04% carbon dioxide and inert gases in a small trace amount inert gases inert gases in trace amount now in the case of atmosphere it divided in the so many uh, some layers or many few layers so the name of the layers first the layer which is present near the crust we call them troposphere troposphere in this layer the all the climatic changes are occur important the all the climatic changes temperature variations are occur in this region 
So this region is called the troposphere. Its height approximately 8 to 16 km from the Earth's surface or sea level. So in this region, the cloud formation occur, cloud formation occur. Second point, in this region, all the climatic changes such like lightning, rainfall, all the things occur in this region. So this is known as the troposphere. The second region we call the stratosphere. The stratosphere. In this region, there is no climatic changes occur, and this region having the ozone layer. We call it the ozone sphere, or in this region, it having the ozone layer. Now, third region we call the mesosphere, and next layer is called the ionosphere. And last layer, which is present in the atmosphere, or we call the outermost layer of the atmosphere, we call the exosphere. In the ionosphere, the gases are present in the ionic form, we call them ionosphere, and mesosphere. It present between 60 to 100 kilometers and more than 100 kilometers we call them actress Thanks for today and have a nice day. That's all right.